Hello everybody, welcome back to the Football Manager Let's Play series. We have a press conference just before our game here with uh, Boston United, our, our fierce local rivals. And um, yeah, we're going to have a look and do this. Farewell again, what do you make of your chances in this one? We have to be considered the favourites. Haslam's men are on a poor run of seven league games without a win, and the relegation candidates find themselves in 24th place in the Vanarama National League. Dealing with Boston, surely comfortable winners in Horan. I'm confident as long as we stick to our game plan. There's a reputation for favouring more direct style of football with his Boston United side. What are your thoughts on the way they play, and how do you plan to over? I quite like it. We've been playing a little bit more direct this year ourselves. And um, it's not quite um, paid off for me. Do you agree with Ben Streven's decision to put Scott Loach on the transfer? It's not really for me to say. Talk about your relationship with our... There's mutual respect, but we're not really close. Job done. Right, there are some things to get into. Um, Since the last video, obviously... We had a bit of a... We've, we've, we've been having a, a rough start to the season. No doubt about that. Um, and we've also had a little bit of a, a weakness in some of our squad identified in some positions, which we've tried to... We've tried to change a little bit, you know? We've tried to improve the squad in some areas. And... See where it goes in others. One of the things I have done... Not accept any transfer bids for any of my players. However, I have brought in two players. We've also got rid of two. Kane Lewis has gone to Rotherham as part of the deal that saw Carlos Miller finally, the player that I was trying to get to join me, um, the young 17-year-old kid, finally got a deal done for him. 50k plus uh, Kane Lewis going in the opposite direction. They finally accepted it. Manasseh Kianga, who was the uh, young 20-year-old kid in our under-23 squad, he's gone. He's gone to Northwood. And then Dimitri Mitchell, former uh, Man United player. Was that Derby? Derby um, had him transfer listed for free. So I offered a deal and uh, he's come and joined us. A um, attacking fullback. Perfect for what I need in this left hand side of the pitch. So I've gone from having only Reme Medford Smith and Cameron Green as available um, right backs. Make Cameron Green now available. For the under 23s and uh we've yeah we've got now got these uh nice young kids and we've got dimitri mitchell so i've suddenly strengthened the left back position with two players and uh, we've also managed to clear out a little bit of the dead wood so we'll see tactics wise i've not all i've done Tactics wise, um, play for set pieces is enabled because I think we've got good set piece takers. I've also removed the defensive pressing type dealy. So all the players are free to do their own, decide how to defend. I'm not telling them all to press, I'm not telling them all to hold position. It's up to the players to pick and choose the right defensive role. Um, 
Obviously, all my full backs are on defensive duties now. We're going to play very defensive back. I've dropped the defensive line. I'm going to try and hit teams a little bit more on the counter this time. Uh, what are we going to do? H.U. E. Mitchell is in the squad. Good. Players missing nationals. I probably want Kempster for McNamara for this next game. Fortunately, we don't have. We have got Lacadia back. Lacadia is coming back for this match, which should be a huge boost for the club. Um, other attacking player. Jack Rolls scored a goal. Max Robson didn't. Plays for Cyprus. Jack Rolls. Bose. National football where you can take it. Can't you? Yeah, we spent 50k. The highest transfer fee ever paid. Alson claims that Grantham are not that good. <laughs> I'm not gonna no no I'm not gonna let the Boston manager try and weasel out of this one Yeah, I think he's trying to undermine us a bit. We haven't played well. Maximiliano Salas, striker. Argentinian. Well, we're not going to sign him, are we? Are we lads? Because not well. He probably would get a work permit, but twenty-four. He looks a bit chubby to me. Fan of kebabs on a Friday night. Yeah, eighty-six kilos. He's a bit of a tubby lard, isn't he? A bit of a tubby lard arse. Come on, Boston. Don't really have any first team players available for the under 18s. Capable playing, passed the fitness test. He recommended to be limited to 45 minutes of action. That's probably going to be a challenge because I'm going to need him to play 90 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be big. We haven't got any other flipping players. Next match only. See, they're playing pretty much again. Flat back eight, innit? 
It's a flat back eight because they're they're all defensive, they're, and they've just got two men that they're going to try and oof it up to. Again, a lot of people trying this um uh, shut out system, shut down. We need to give a squad player number to Dimitri Mitchell. We're going to give him the give him the number two shirt. Which was uh, Kane Lewis's shirt number, I think. All right, lads. Lads, let's get out there now and uh, actually try and win a game of football, please. Good. Aster. Artler. Adia tries to have a punt. Adia. Lacadia. Get in there, son. Debut goal. Yeah, because it's his first match because he's been injured since uh, the friendlies. First league appearance from our, our top man. Number nine. Jurgen Lacadia. Feel if we get all our players back. Oh, here's Lacadia. He's through. He's done a he's done a Max Robson, everybody. He's done a Max Robson. Which is really, really frustrating because in the uh August monthly awards, that goal by Max Robson, which was identical to that one, only got third place in the goal of the month. How do you not get goal of the month for that? You've won from inside your own half, beat everybody and scored. That should be an automatic goal of the month if you do something like that. Well, at the minute, Boston United shot map up there. The first off, very pleased with the result, lads. Keep it going. I think we need to bring off Locadia at some point. I'd like him to get his hat trick though before I bring him off. Oh, look. Adia. That's. Oh, look. Shepherd. Quite fine, like Adia. Lancaster. Oh, look. Campbell. Missed it. Lance Campbell. Five minutes is up. Right, let's give Dimitri Mitchell a chance. Bring Motor on. Man 
Lancaster's looking a bit beat up, so let's bring Ken in. Three changes. Still long throw. Finds it. Then it rushes out. Kempster. Scarlet. Deliver across to save his life. Then it. Bartlett. Shepherd. Oh man. That's tame. Oki tries to bullet one in. Ooh, I thought that was close. Ooh, squeaky bum time with five minutes to go. They've just got to warm back. There was a time for us to book the field and score a goal. Now's the time to do it, lads. Shepard. It's all right. Bent. Goki. Kempster couldn't deliver. Kempster's dribbled it out for a goal kick. Not very good, Kempster. I could say so myself. And it's hit the post or crossbar with a header. Foray just puts it wide. There we go, 2 1. We won. We beat Boston at the stump. Right. Just not converting shots. If we converted half of our shots into goals, I'd be delighted. What happened in the second half, lads? Pointing after the first. You're back up into the promote playoff positions. Still seven points off the top. Boston are really not having a good time of things. We had 1,000... I oh know Boston had 1,406 fans in attendance. Locadia, post-match press conference, Locadia shines, still good. Playing regular football again, I hope he does, because if he, can, he scores two goals a game, I'll be very happy. Okay, another press conference. Things finally went in your favour out there today. What impact would you say Nathan Housen's comments about your underachievements had on the result? Like sour grapes to me. A good result from your side. How surprising was it giving your pre-match opinions on his team? Executive victory is over, but how do you feel about that particular echo? I think Jürgen, the early goal is important. How much did you? He was terrific. 
Middlesbrough manager Danny Cowley was spotted in the crowd today following recent spe- yeah, his injury signing Ramayne Campbell. Would you be willing to discuss it? No. Won't be making any future selections. The fact that we can rotate now with Rem- uh, Bedford Smith is going to be good for us. Because he's had to play every game, every minute of every match. Don't like me. He doesn't like Boston's manager. Don't like me. And I don't like him. So <laughs> it's all good. It's all good stuff. Blackadia, quickest off the mark. Goal. 27 seconds into the match against Boston United. It's a new ground. Oh, even better. To break a record. And do it against Boston. <laughs> Hold the silver strike. 35 seconds into the match against Scarborough Athletic. Was our previous quickest goal. Oh, colder silver. What happened to you, son? Career stall. You're still at Birmingham, but funnily, you didn't you didn't play against us in the pre in the preseason friendly. You never played. Played seven times this season. It's got an average of six point eight three. Still in the Skybet Championship, they are indeed. Where are they? If they're in the playoffs, wrong. Aaron Taylor Sinclair. He's a defender wing back, free agent. Am I interested in sign? Is he on my short list or something? One thing I did notice uh, squad, 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 squad. Carlos Miller is only 1.5 meters tall. He's only one, he's, he's, a, he's a hobbit. Kid, he's only a hobbit. Um, a bit concerning, really. That he's a he's a he's a hobbit. <laughs> Mitri Mitchell, one point eight meters. Very useful to have tall players playing for your club. You know, for set pieces and stuff. Um, Under 18s got beat. Bet the under 18s to get beat a lot. One thing I haven't looked at is transfer clauses. So we've got a home game coming up next against Eastleigh. We have all our players back from international duty. I like the fact that Eastleigh have a nice Spitfire on their um, badge. Transfers, clauses. Zach McGraw has got a clause. We are due 24k after another 28 league matches, league appearances. The board has negotiated a potential buyout fee. All this crap. Sell the clause, you will receive 19.66. Be honest, I, I'm going to hold out for the extra four grand. Holding out for the extra four grand is a better, better kind of deal for me. Maximise the most from losing our star centre back. Still 
got the mighty Montreal, which is interesting, really, when you think about it. Again, I don't know whether it was some part, there's like some hidden thing in Football Manager. But he didn't play in the game against us, the friendly match. The Calder Silver didn't play in the game for Birmingham against us. <clears throat> None of the players that I sold to Exeter played in the friendlies against us. So, um, is there some kind of hidden thing in the game <clears throat> where, um, where these players don't actually play against you? He's already played 22 times for uh, Montreal. Wow. Played 38 times for me last season. So he's played like 60 games this year already. It's a lot of fixtures for a player in one season. 60 matches. Oh, he's had 26 appearances actually looking at this. Coupled with whatever he did for us. That's only going to count league matches. Max Robertson got goal against Turkey. Jack Shepard, Jacob Shepard, Jurgen Lacadia. Campbell's recent form deserves recognition. No, it doesn't. He's not scored enough goals. He's not scoring. So I'm definitely not going to praise him. Not doing what I need him to do. Bennett's training report. Bennett's getting a little bit better as a player. He's got stronger. Got more determined. His composure's risen a little bit. His marking's risen a little bit. I want to see. So much stuff though happening in between matches. It's taking so long to get to the matches that this season it's going to take ages for me to play. I might have to do things. I might have to start pausing between cutting the vid, pausing the video between matches because there's too much of this stuff that you don't really want to see. I'm going to guess. All this sitting on this screen, watching the little football spinning around. You want to see the, the pitch. All right, Rolls and Robson are coming back in. Scarlett and Campbell. Lacadia's inside forward. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Half a good plan for me. Pre-match press conference is about to begin. Attend press conference. Matt Gray has suggested that your team does not have what it takes to stay up this season. Do you agree? Wag the finger. Eastleigh have been disappointing in the Van der Ammenash side this season. Fonz in the 15th place. Got all the points on Sunday. We'll lean on him heavily. All right, come on then. If we go back to the uh, transfer window, just have a look at the Premiership. No, we can't. Oh, yeah, the Premier Division window must have closed then.
Man United made five, brought in five players, look. Mukhtar Diakabi from Valencia for 45 million. Rose Angelo Dahl for 5.25. Matias Vargas from Espanyol for 34 million. Potentially raising to 51. Marcus Leonardo has gone from Santos for 13.75. Martin Odegaard. Real Madrid. Man, that's a signing. That's a player in, surely. He's the dude that went to Arsenal in real life. Players out. Anthony Alanga, Sunderland on loan. William Carvalho to PSG for 49 million. Shola Shortide to Bristol Rovers on loan. Ethan Lair to Aston Villa, loan. Charlie Allen to Reading, 155k. Engi, Sheffield United on loan. Victor Lindelof, Lindelof to Rennes for 22 million. Potentially rising to 28.5. Diego Dalot to Frankfurt for 23 million. Hmm. Pedro De La Vega, Hoffenheim, 16.25 million. Donny van der Beek, look, Donny, 28.5 million to Lazio, so they made a loss on him. Fred to Bournemouth, 10.25. So uh, they spent 215 million and they received 153 million. You look at players out. Man City again, though. Man City and Chelsea are the absolute scumbags of the football world. Look at how many players they've loaned out. 49 players. Chelsea, 30 players. They're just stockpiling. Just stockpiling all the promising young talent that could be at other clubs. <clears throat> ridiculous training week in review there has been no bad training dynamics the one thing we haven't done Add player, Carlos Miller. Seventeen. Probably benefit from that. Oop. Right, we won't worry too much about it. Anyway, let's go kick on. Let's play a match. We do want a second match, don't we, today, folks? Chance for us to actually win a fourth game <laughs> and finally have this be equal wins and draws. First team players for under 23s. That's fine. Stockport have signed. We moved Taylor Sinclair from Short West. Yes, we have. Carlos Miller's progression. Uh, he hasn't been at the club long enough yet to worry about progressing. We could put him on the loan list. Passed his fitness test and he can now play 75 minutes comfortably. Selection, right, we do need to make one change. 
Put it down there. On the pitch, mate. Doyle, Bennett, Medford Smith, Okie Koki, Gary Okie. Hey, if he can play 75 minutes, he can play 75 minutes. I can always bring the, um, the young kid on. All right, home tie. Expecting a home win. We're not seeing, I'm not, and I must admit, the lack of fans in the stands is a bit of a concern. I was hoping we'd start to see a much bigger attendance now at the club. Took a touch there, son. You didn't need to try the fancy. Spectaculous. That rolls. Hobson. There's Locadia. Third goal. Oh, that's his hat trick. <laughs> It's kind of extended into the second match, but he's actually got an act for it now for the club. <laughs> Ooh. Max Robertson and Locadia linked up very well, no? Two nil at half time. Very happy. Keep it going, lads. Keep it going. Side. Ooh, the only go key. Jack Roll should have scored that. Goal for Dane Scarlet, number two. Dane's gone. Dane's gone. And a bit more from you. to two minutes so at this point this is where we bring 
Shepard on for Lacadia. Lacadia is a bit of a rest. Bring Robson on. Lancaster on for Robson. Fresh legs. Maybe for Reme, who's not really done a lot this match. Give him 15 minutes. Rinko got the corner. Mecca Soaps. That's a good win, 3 0. Can't be fairer than that. It's a home win. So, hey. 837 in attend attendances have dropped off a bit. I think that's probably because of our slightly disappointing performance so far this season. I'm going to guess. Passing. Good. You completed 12 passes, mate, including one assist. Notts County have won five on the bounce. No, they've lost. Notts County have lost. Boston are still down at the bottom of the table. They haven't won a match. Have drawn four of their nine, but they've lost five of nine. I think the manager could be getting sacked soon. So, as we end this video, we have had a slightly better turnaround in performances. We we have won two games. So what I plan to do now is I plan to play the next five games um off camera. And I'll bring you back for the FA Cup fourth qualifier, our first FA Cup match of the season. And hopefully a televised match against Notts County. There we go. We play Weldstone again just before Christmas. At the moment, at this moment in time, it doesn't look like a very, very busy season, does it? However... <laughs> However, what we do have is obviously once the FA Trophy starts, then that's going to be a lot of extra fixtures. And if we obviously we run into the winter postponements and stuff, then we run into problems there. But yeah, we've reached the end of today's episode. We've got six points from our two matches. We've got to be very happy with that. We're turning things around. So... Be sure to join me in the next episode of the series, everybody. Take care of yourselves and stay safe in the meantime. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Cheerio.